Hi everyone, welcome back to another STEM challenge. This week we're gonna talk a lot about snow. We had our first really big snowfall, so I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about snow. Now I love playing outside in the snow. My favorite thing to do is build snow forts and snowmen. But sometimes it's way too cold to be outside building snowmen. So instead, I thought we could find a way to create snow inside. Well, it's not exactly snow, but it's similar and we'll be able to build with it. Now this STEM challenge gets a little messy. So make sure you ask an adult before you start. All right, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Come on, let's go. There are two different ways that we can make this snow. One uses soap and one doesn't. We're gonna see how these two different mixtures are different when it comes time to melt them, which is where the real science happens. But first I'll show you how to make them. All you need is baking soda and water and your soap to make the actual snow. We'll use the vinegar when it's time to melt them. So we'll move that to the side for now. For your first mixture, we're going to use no soap. So all you need is one cup of your baking soda and three tablespoons of your water. Now you're gonna wanna slowly mix in the water so that you can mix up your snow mixture. So I'll just pour it in one at a time and mix it little by little. So I'll pour it in and mix it around. Slowly adding the water as I go to make it stickier and stickier. Once you have it at a good sticky consistency, that's when you can start playing with it. So I'm gonna move it into a different bowl so it's easier to play with but I have my snow and you can roll it into a ball and make your own creations. Now I'm gonna show you our mixture with the soap. It's the same thing. You'll take one cup of your baking soda and pour it into your container. Then you'll slowly add in water, but the one difference is we need a teaspoon of soap. You'll just want to use plain dish soap and you'll pour that in right on top of your baking soda. As you can see, this experiment gets a little messy. So again, make sure you ask an adult before you do it. All right, now we'll just slowly add in our water and begin mixing. Once I have them in my two bowls, I'll show you what our melting looks like. But first, I gotta mix this one up. Once you've had a chance to create your solutions and make different structures with them, maybe even a snowman, we're gonna try and melt it. Now with normal snow, you would melt it with sun or heat. That's how snow melts. When it gets really hot, the snow melts away and turns into water. But this isn't quite regular snow. So we are going to melt them using vinegar. Vinegar has an interesting reaction with baking soda. So we're gonna watch and see what happens when we pour in vinegar to each of our snow mixtures. Also, remember this one had a little bit of soap. We're gonna see if it acts differently than our first one without soap. I'm gonna zoom in so you can watch and listen to the two reactions. We're gonna pour about a cup of vinegar into each. This one doesn't have to be as exact. The reaction will work, but you wanna do a decent amount. So first I'm gonna do the one without soap. What do you hear? What do you see? Now I'm going to do the one with our soap. I'll add a little bit more. How are our two mixtures different? If you noticed, both of our snow mixtures reacted when we poured vinegar in. That's because when vinegar and baking soda mix, they have a chemical reaction, which caused it to become really fizzy. 
Now it's not so much. It's mostly just vinegar sitting in there because the chemical reaction has already happened. But when we added the dish soap, the bubbles weren't able to pop open. The dish soap traps them, which is why it created this foamy mixture that we still have. For this challenge, you can either create your own snow mixture using baking soda and water, or you can add soap and see if yours creates foam too. Remember, this one gets a little bit messy. It even did for me. So make sure you ask an adult before you start. I would love to see if you did any part of this experiment. So send me your pictures, videos, and messages to my email and have fun with it.